Okay, yeah, so this one tool can help you with almost everything. This can help you with your assignment. This can help you do your assignment. This can help you with essays, with letters. Instantly, you don't even have to type more than one line. This tool will write up a proper essay of how you spent that boring holiday for you. It will bring up anything you want. It can even solve jam questions. It can solve work questions instantly. All right, and then it's, it can also help you to study. It goes a great deal in studying. It can explain to you concepts that you don't understand. And I'll be showing you how to do all this and lots more right now. Let's go. ChatGPT is the smartest AI model out there, the smartest AI chatbot model out there. And it is making the buzz everywhere. It is making waves everywhere. Literally everybody that knows anything about AI is talking about ChatGPT right now because it is that good. It is that good. One major thing that ChatGPT does and has been doing for many people is doing the assignments. ChatGPT is doing people's homework. ChatGPT is writing people's essays. So if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, and um, your student has been given an assignment, an essay, a letter, a summary of a book. Sorry, but um, there's a way they can do it without actually doing it. Okay, so let's see. I was given an assignment of how I spent my last holiday. Let's see. I was given an assignment of how I spent my last holiday, and I don't want to write anything because I spent my last holiday at home eating rice, sleeping. I watch him film. <laughs> so let's see, I, I need I need to see something more interesting to submit. Um I can just alright. Write about how I spent my last holiday. Assuming I spent it in um Dubai <laughs> with with Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. What's will it say? Let's see. Let's go. <laughs> I spent my last holiday in Dubai with Cristiano Ronaldo. It was, an, it was an amazing experience and one that I will never forget. We arrived in Dubai and checked into our luxurious hostels, hotel where we, greet, where we were greeted with champagne and chocolates covered with strawberries. My room was incredible, with a stunning view of the city and the Arabian Gulf. The first thing we did was go shopping at the Dubai Mall, which is the largest mall. <laughs> Look at this. And it just completely overall, it was an amazing holiday. And I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to spend it with Cristiano Ronaldo. It was a dream come true and I will always cherish the memory. See, lie, God. <laughs> Let's see, I don't want my teen chat to know I'm lying or something. I spent it with my grandma. We started the holiday by traveling to my grandma's hometown to this small charming village. Nested in the countryside, the air was fresh and the scenery was breathtaking. Upon arriving, we were greeted by my grandma's friends and neighbors. We would sit by the fireplace mm -hmm, and chat about our lives. That the life. Overall, it was a wonderful holiday. Wow. Okay, so I can see the correlation somehow. Look at this. Okay, so you can see it's, it repeats some things. So when your teacher sees that 50 people in the class ended their essay with overall, it was a wonderful holiday. She will know that something wrong is going on. <laughs> but let's, let's see your assignment was Write a letter to your local government chairman urging him to provide better amenities. Simple as that. Dear chairman's name, I am writing to express to express my concern about lack of amenities in our community as residents of and just like that. Let's say you asked a physics question. Let me just search for a physics question online. Okay. The inner diameter of a test tube can measured accurately by using a let me just copy and paste all of these. Now let's say you are, you are studying for jump and then you have this question. Question answer is D. Wow. So this is a very good tool for studying also. 
Okay, now let's see. Two bodies have a mass of. Okay, now. Okay, now. It explains everything right here. You see, and it tells you that the correct answer. Wow. This is beyond amazing. This is. I mean, I've not tested this before, so I'm very surprised as I'm showing you this right now. This is surprising me a lot right now. Can you explain Newton's third law to me? Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that if one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object will exert an equal and opposite force back on the first object. It goes on to explain it even more. So, yes. Yes, this can help you for explanations. Um, I don't understand capillarity. What's it? Okay, capillarity is, a, is the phenomenon by a liquid by which a liquid rises. It explains capillarity. It explains the coercive force. It just goes on to give everything out in detail. So you can use this to study as well. Okay, let's say you wanted to ask you questions. Ask me study questions on, on mathematics. Let me see what's this really say. Sure, here are a few study questions on mathematics. What's the definition of a function? <laughs> okay, the difference between an equation and an expression. These are very broad. Ask me calculation questions. Here yeah, she could. So okay. So um what's the kind of results you get highly depends on what you type in. And um, I asked for mathematics questions, I was asking me what is, what is, what is. I asked for calculation questions, then it asked me things I can actually calculate. So, um, th these are a few points out for, if you want to use this to study, um, you can just type in what I type here, ask me calculation questions. Let me expand on that. Primary for calculation questions, let's see how it does that. Okay, and look at that. It generates questions for primary four students. Generates question for a primary four student. Now ask me let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. SS3. Let's go. SS3 calculation questions. So if I the expression, hmm. Look at the slope of the line. So it understands understand to understand oh yeah now so i'll just copy the question here paste it okay so one says how much this ai understands the syntax of english so i wrote the question i'll find the range of this and give me just the final answer to this question don't show me the solving that's thing i would just read that it just gave me the answers here. It didn't give me all the solution like it did before. So, child GTP understands English economics. What is opportunity cost? All of that, all of that. Okay, so let's say you want to, um, we're given a mat mathematics question, still jump. A group of okay, this is something that it has to understand. It has to understand this. A group of market women sell at least one yam plantain and maize. Twelve of them sell maize. Ten of ten sell yam. And Fourteen sell plantain. Five sell plantain and maize. Four sell yam and maize. Two sell yam and plantain only. Yam and plantain only. While three sell at least three items. How many women are in the group? This is something that could take um some time to solve. So, the number of women who sell at least one yam is equal to the okay. This is already surprising me right now. This is surprising me. They say the correct answer I see. Let's us check that. Let's us check that. See, the correct answer is A25. So, you can already see how this is. So this is where you have to be very wise. This is the, what's it called? A word problem. So this is something that 
um, to solve it, you'd have to read it. You'd have to understand it. Then you'd solve it. This AI probably doesn't properly understand what it is reading here. So it gave 18 as the answer when the answer was meant to be 25. So now let's check where can I get jam past questions. Okay, so I asked for the past questions. They said it is important to use past exam questions as a supplement. Okay, so this paragraph is telling you that you should not rely solely on the past questions. You should also study and prepare yourself and rather use the past questions as a supplement. So the AI is really making suggestions to you. It is advising you at this point. Okay, let's see. I want to know how many questions does Jamb ask? So it, it tells you that immediately. Okay, so it tells you here. Jamb has typically asked a total of 180 questions. Um, these subjects may include English, mathematics. So um, I don't know how correct this is though. This was quite what I said in my Jamb, so I can't remember how many I did either. I'm just trying to show how you can use this while studying, how Nigerians can use this while studying. Okay. Okay, so chat GPT can be used to solve your assignments, can be used to use for your classwork, it can be used to write essays, can be used to write letters, it can assist you in studying as well. It's important to know that chat G GPT can be wrong. So whatever information it gives you, it can possibly give you wrong information. Alright, chat GPT is a tool that should be seen as such. Whatever you are using it for, use it with wisdom and discretion. Share this video to your classmates, your close friends. Share this video to your lecturer, let them know what's going on. <laughs> or don't. Share this video to the president. Like this video because you like it. Comment and um, subscribe. There's a lot more is coming. A lot more. Alright, a lot more. Goodbye.